Alabama zoisha grass. Zoisha grass Oisia SPP, a warm season long grass, is well suited to Alabama's long, hot summers. It grows in U.S. Department of Agriculture plant hardiness zones 5 through 10 and does well in all areas of Alabama. It spreads by stolons and rhizomes and has stiff, upright blades that vary in thickness, depending on species and cultivar. Generally slow growing, the fastest way to establish a zoisha grass lawn is through solder plugs. Zoisha grass grows vigorously when temperatures remain between 80 and 95 degrees Fahrenheit and turns pale yellow during its winter dormancy, which occurs after the first frost in fall. Uses Zoisha grass forms a dense, carpet-like lawn that stands up well to foot traffic. It is often used for lawns, parks and golf courses and occasionally athletic fields. Zoisha grass is often used in transition zones that are too warm for cool weather grasses such as Fescue Festuca SPP, which grows in USDA zones 3 through 7, but too cold for Bermuda grass Synodon dactylon, which grows in USDA zones 7 through 10. Take care when growing zoisha grass near cool weather grasses as it tends to invade other lawns. It is drought tolerant and does well in sunny, southern or southwestern exposures where fescue cannot survive. It has good salt tolerance and grows well in Alabama's sandy coastal soils. Varieties All zoisha grass cultivars are derived from three principal species. Japanese or Korean long grass Oisia japonica, Manila grass Oisia matrella and Mascarin grass Oisia tenuifolia. Meyer zoisia grass is a cold hardy cultivar that does well in northern Alabama. Meyer has a medium blade thickness and deep green color. Developed in California, El Toro zoisia grass resembles Meyer but is faster growing and has improved resistance to rust diseases. Emerald zoisia grass is a hybrid of Manila grass and Mascarin grass that has a vivid green color and fine textured blade. It is relatively fast-growing and more shade-tolerant than Meyer. Cultural Requirements Zoisia grass adapts well to different soil types, as long as the soil is well-draining. It prefers full sun to part shade, although growth will be sparser in shady areas. Zoisia grass becomes dormant during drought, but revives again when rain returns. It requires about 1 inch of water weekly to remain green and growing in hot, dry weather. Although fertilizer applications should be based on a soil test, zoisia grass generally requires several applications of nitrogen-containing fertilizers such as 1648, 131313 or 101010. Alabama Cooperative Extension System recommends applying 1 pound of actual nitrogen for 1,000 square feet in April, June, and August. Zoisha grass should be the thatched at least once every two or three years. Pests and Diseases Vigorous, healthy zoisha grass generally chokes out weeds and is resistant to pests and diseases. The hunting billbugs Phenophorus venatus vestichus is a common pest that attacks the roots of zoisha grass, creating yellow or brown patches in the lawn. For lawns with a history of hunting billbugs, Insecticides such as bifenthrin, deltamthrin, lambda halothrin or imidacloprid should be applied in early spring to control emerging adults. Brown patch, dollar spot and rust are generally controlled through proper fertilization and maintenance, but fungicides may be required for extreme cases. Fungicides and insecticides should always be applied according to package instructions. <laughs>